tell YouTube, uh, what I'm going to be showing you right now is how to flash over the base bands and um, all those little fix. Um, I think there's two files you need to flash over if you're running the custom ROM, either any custom ROM actually, uh, any of the DJ Stevens custom ROMs for sure. You'll need to flash over the DSP1 and the AMSS and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Uh, what it does is actually when you go to your camera button um, one of the fixes is for the GPS and the 720p and uh, what that does well mainly right now what the reason why I had to flash it was because when you would go to your video recording your camera uh, and you go to your settings um, the option for 720p WVGA, D1, um, VGA, QVGA, and all those weren't present. You weren't, weren't able to record in any of those modes. Um, the only mode would be CIF, and uh, which is not really good quality, especially if you have like a Dell Street. And uh, well, what I'm going to show you is how exactly how to flash over the files needed to go ahead and um, boot you um, fix that. And let me just go ahead and show you that I am running the <coughs> Street Droid uh, 1.9.0. You can do this as well for the 2.0, which is the Ginger Ginger Streak, and uh, this one is the Street Droid, and it is the 2.2 Android version. And if you get the Street Droid, um, I'm sorry, Ginger Streak, aka okay, Street Droid 2.0. Uh, you'll have the baseband of 2.3.3 okay now let's just get back to it you're gonna need to uh, first of all make sure you have your your USB cable connected to your computer because you will be doing, doing this uh, majority on your computer so um, first of all let's just shut down our phone I'm gonna go ahead and remove the battery from the back just wait like five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and uh, go ahead and add it. Replace, replace your computer, but your computer. Oh my God! Like today's not the day for me to be doing videos, but here I am. Um, just go ahead and put it, put everything back together. And you're gonna need, uh, in order to start your phone in fast boot, you will need to hold down your camera and your power button at the same time until white screen flashes so let's just go ahead and do that I'll wait for it to turn on and as you can see right there mine already has uh, it already went into the thing to the fast boot thingy so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on fast boot and then you're gonna wait 10 seconds 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you're gonna go ahead and connect your USB. It doesn't necessarily have to be five, ten seconds, but as long as it's over ten seconds. And once you connect it, you're gonna have your little fast boot on the bottom. And now we're gonna go to your computer and make sure you just go ahead and put down the the files you need on your desktop so that you'll have easy access. Now, you will need the multi-recovery, which would be the street droid or the clockwork rot mod. And you will need to have it install, um, unzip directly to your C drive. So, it's quite simple to do that. Just go ahead and go to your computer, click on your C drive, and then just go ahead and drag and drop it. I already have it here, as you can see, and I already unzipped it. Well, it's going to be like RAR, so you're going to have to extract it. And... Um, um, unzip or extract and I use frog rar thingy to do that now once you're extracted you're gonna get a, a the file uh, on the bottom go ahead and rename it it's gonna be the name of uh, the original name which is multi recovery flasher but you go ahead and rename it streak and once you have that there you will need both files uh, that will fix it which will be your um, do you, I, mine says two, but yours isn't going to say two because you're going to have one. Um, this is the second file I have, but it's kind of like um, 
testing the uploads because uh, the XC developers removed the link for downloading uh, one of these ones, so I have it. Anyways, um, these are the two fixes you're going to need. Every file is going to be on my website, so I'll go ahead and leave the link in the bottom for you guys. So you're just going to go ahead and drag and, um, let me just go ahead and open streak. Just go ahead and drag and drop it inside the folder, anywhere, uh, as long as it doesn't fall under any other folder. Just go ahead and drag and drop it there or whatever. Once you have that done, um, what you're going to do is you can go ahead and exit this out. You're going to go to your command, which would be under your all programs, accessories, accessories, and it's going to be command prompt. Just going to be there. Now you're going to access um, the file you unzipped from your onto your C drive. Your C drive, yeah. So you're going to access it directly, so you're going to go ahead and type in all of this that are going to be written down, so don't worry if you don't catch any of them. Um, you're going to type in CD, C colon, and you will need to do the forward uh, flash, not the back flash, which would be this one up there, I don't know if you can see it. And um, you're going to type in streak, which is the name of the folder, or you can name the folder whichever as long as you remember and you have access to it. And you're just going to go ahead and type in enter. Now you're going to, um, let me just go ahead and zoom in for a little. Sorry you guys, I'm not real good at any of this, I just want to help you guys out. So, as you can see, Streaked already opened up, so what you're going to do is you're going to access your fast boot, which is already pre-installed in your, in the file. Once you have fast boot, you're going to get like a list of commands you could do. Uh, so... That's basically uh, tells you what, what what it is that you want to do. But right now we're just going to stick to updating, flashing over the basements and stuff like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and type in fast. Make sure you don't do any errors or anything like that because it will not work if you have like even the slightest error in it. Um, dash I zero X four one three. 413C flash and then the name of the file which should be we'll do the DSPI first uh, so we're going to do DSP1 and then you're going to go ahead and type that in again DSP1 which should be you have to do the name of the file on your second turn so you're just going to hit dot MBN which is the type of fi file you're flashing for those of you who uh, like aren't familiar uh, on what kind of file you have or whatever you downloaded <coughs> you can actually you can really go and <coughs> right click on the file and go to properties and it'll tell you exactly the type of file and you'll have your dot bn mbn so that's how you know and once you typed in all that go ahead and click enter but i'm going to go ahead and click enter but i'm going to bring my phone up here so you can see what exactly is going to be happening in the bottom just click enter it's going to say start writing DSP1 and it says download DSP1 done now you're going to do the same thing for your <coughs> AMSS file so you're just going to go ahead and type in fast boot space dash I um, 0x413c Flash, and then you're going to do AMSS. You always have to do the file's name, and then you do the file's name with the file type. So AMSS, and then you're going to go ahead and space AMSS.MBN, which is the same type of file. Oh, sorry, you didn't get to see that, but I guess now you get to see it. Once you typed in all that, which I just said, don't worry, I'll have everything written down for you guys. Um, go ahead and go to your phone again. I'm just going to show it. I'm just going to click enter. And it's going to say start writing AMSS. And it says download AMSS done. And that's when you know that you're already done with this whole thingy. And basically that's it. Once you <coughs> reboot your phone, which you could either do it by the command down, by the command prompt, by, by typing in fast boot 
uh, space, uh, negative eye for what they would ever reboot. So, but usually it's like a lot simpler just to like take off your battery and then put it back on. And once you do that, you boot up your phone and your HD and all those other little tidbits. I think, believe it's the library and stuff like that, GPS that will be fixed. So, that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I will have everything on the website and I'll provide you guys with the link. Uh, I am not trying to like take away uh, DJ Steven's glory. He created that custom ROM and everything and the fixes. I'm just showing you exactly how you do it, uh, how to flash things over. And uh, so please, no rude comments. I'm not trying to give myself credit for this. And that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, which I already said. And y'all have a good day.